Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So I have a lot of things laid out here and I wanted to dive into them and share a few things with you. But first, this video is mainly about this new pen that arrived today. I actually got it used from a friend on Instagram and I've actually purchased a couple of things from her in the past. So I knew she was a reliable seller and i from all my videos lately you will you may have noticed how i've been um holding back on some of my fountain pen purchases okay this is all stuck together let's see Oh, so she put it in one of those Pelican pouches, but it's not a Pelican pen and I'm really excited. <laughs> so let's take a look. Oh man, I had to feel it. So it's a platinum and it looks so tiny, but I know that the platinums are usually they look a little small. I will bring out some of my other Platinums. It is the Platinum 3776 Celluloid Fountain Pen Cherry Blossom with Gold Trim. And it is the Japanese company's flagship model with a cherry blossom pattern on a celluloid body. And it is, I can tell it's been used but it's really pretty. It almost looks like a reptile skin. It doesn't feel like that. It doesn't have any texture. It's very smooth, which is just similar to all the other uh, 3776s that I have and own. Um, I have a the Nice 3776, and that's crazy how this pen is, it does feel a lot thinner. Interesting. Let's see if, oh cool, she did include a um, cartridge converter. And it's just, it's interesting how light it feels. This is a medium, I have a medium. This one right now is a broad. Yes, this is the broad. And the reason why I gravitate towards this is because I do like pink, but also because I love platinum. They are reliable and they're normally a very smooth uh, writer and their pen uh, nibs are really hard. And so I don't, th there's no flexing or anything and it's just, it's like a solid, sturdy fountain pen. So let me get my other pens. I think I have it in another case. Okay, so these are all the Platinum 3776s that I have and I've been thinking about adding to my collection. So minus that one. These are the three that I have. So this one is the Chartres Blue Chrome. So this one is the Chartres Blue, and I have this one, I think, in a medium. Yes, this one's in a medium. This was my very first 3776, and I actually got this one off of Amazon. Oh, it is inked up. I completely forgot, so perfect. So this one's inked up, and um, all the others are inked up except for the new one. This one is the Chenonceau, which is the white color and has the gold trim. They also offer 3776 in a silver trim, um, but I like the gold for whatever reason. I'm not a huge fan of gold, but every once in a while I see something that has gold in it or on it and I um, really like it that particular way. This one's the Nice Lilas, which I got from, um, 
I got this one from Pen Chalet. I got this one from Pen Chalet. And then this one, of course. So this actually is a lot thinner than the other two or the other three that I have. I do have other brands of platinum. So I used to have platinum preppies. Those were another pen that I used to take to work with me when I was working outside of the home. But right now I recently got the um, platinum plazier and I got this from Amazon for about $12. And then I got the Prefound, which is also a platinum pen. And again, these pens uh, work extremely well, no matter whether it's the um, more inexpensive side or the more expensive side. Um, these expensive ones are slightly wider, girthier, except for this, the new one. It almost seems like it's relatively the same width as the Platinum Plazier, but uh, we'll see how it writes. So since I have you here, and actually these are all inked up except for the new one. So we can test all these out together. I'm just going to move them aside. And actually, I will move these into here so that I'm not scratching them up against my table. Just like this. So they look really nice together in this pouch. So right now I'm trying to figure out what color I should use to put into this one. I'm so glad that she included the um, cartridge converter. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with the Sailor Monyo Akebi, which I haven't used in a while, and it kind of matches. I mean, I'm not really big on matchy-matchy, but I do wanna use a color that I don't use very often, and this is definitely one of them. I don't have many pinks or purples in my collection of inks. Most of them are blue, green, well, kinda green, but mainly blue and browns, the ink colors I have a lot of. So let's ink this up together. I have my little nasty uh, towel here. With um, platinum inks, when it comes to inking them up, you don't want to ink up platinum cartridge converter. All right. So when you have a uh, platinum, they do advise to ink up your pen with the uh, like through the nib instead of by the. Um, Wow, that's really staining. Oh no. All right, this gotta be really quick. So I just wet a paper towel to make sure. And that's another reason why I'm kind of, I'm a little bit more picky when it comes to my pens and getting colors that I know will stain. I honestly did not think that this pen would stain at all because of the way it looked, but uh, luckily I was able to just clean that off. I did accidentally stain one of my expensive pens a while back, and so I'm definitely a lot more careful. And it was a Pelican pen that has a white um, grip section. So I'm just more careful about it. Typically, if you do dump your nib in, um, you just have to wipe it up right away. This is a pretty purpley, pinky color. 
What I have that I'm going to use to write today is a traveler's notebook insert that I cut down a couple years ago into a B6 size, which is just shortening it. And um, this is the insert number 013, I believe, where it has the Tomoy River 52 GSM blank pages. I initially was going to use this for journaling again when I started picking up a uh, TN again, but right now it's going to just be used as more like scrap um, paper, jotting down notes, and doing pen tests. So I have my writer board to the Taroko design, which I got from Amazon, and I'm just gonna put this up there. And I can use a pen clip to clip it down. Let's see, I have my little pouch of miscellaneous and I'm going to put on my glove so that I can write and hopefully not put any ink on the paper or any of my oils on the paper okay so there was something going on here with the top of the clip that reaches the finial up here whenever I like unhook it it does have like this I don't know it gets loose and I think it's just something I have to be careful of so this is a really nice writer no issues initially when I did my first test but let's show you anyway This is a medium. And no issues. I didn't try how, okay, it writes pretty good upside down. And I don't really use this, my pens upside down often, but I do know that there are people out there who do, if they want like a quick, fine line to write so this is the medium and upside down is a fine or closer to a fine so let's just do examples um let's do just write fountain And this one is the And it fits like really nicely in my hands. It's closer to having like a sailor in your hands. That's what it feels like, because I know these are a little bit girthier around the pen grip, but it's still smooth again. Like all this texture you see is not um, present when you feel it. It's very soft and smooth. So this one is also the medium. And it just writes really nice. Kind of a lot. Well, I guess you could say it's kind of dry. Write down the ink we're using, which is the Sailor Monyo Akebi.
and it's this really bright, um, leaning towards warm pink. I see, I feel like I see this is leaning more towards red. Next is the Chartres Blue. And this one is in the fine. I'm sorry, this one is in the medium as well. So this is a medium. And the ink is Ferris Wheel Press. It is the Park Green. And it's a little bit on the dry side, in my opinion. So, next, oh, let's do this. This is uh, one of my favorites because of the color. I just like that white with gold trim. It's just really classy to me. And this is a fine nib, so it's really fine. It is a Japanese fine. And I do find that it can um, write in really small spaces. So for instance, my planner like this it can fit in these small boxes so don't be mistaken this is actually a green ink it is the pelican Eidelstein uh, olive ink I forgot to write that this is the Shinonso White. And it's a fine. I feel like this fine is a little juicy. It's very similar to the medium, so um, I guess that could be just the ink. Is a little bit more viscous, or a little bit less viscous. And then this one writes like butter. So this one has, this one's the broad, and this one has Stipula Netto, purple, which is really pretty, and 
it's more of a cool purple to me. It leans a little bit more blue, while this one leans a little bit more red. And that is it for the 3776. And then we can share the platinum Here and this is in a fine. And I actually have a cartridge in here, which is just the black cartridge. difference in weight between one of these and one of these um, but it's not um, super significant I just know that these ones are a little bit lighter than uh, the platinum centuries and last but not least is the platinum prefount which is slightly less than all the others And it looks like I'm running out of ink. Yeah, I'm running out of ink, which actually is pretty good because then I can use this in one of my other pens the cartridge converter. The ink I'm using is also Ferris Wheel Press Mirror Mirror of Moraine. And this one is actually quite juicy. It's also a fine, or what they call a 03. I waited too long for it to. Yeah, it's pretty juicy. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video. I just want to share with you the new pen. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.